I had one horse at that time. Red is his name. He, all of a sudden, he took off running. And I said, well, something's going on. You know, what I didn't know what. Terry Thompson got bears out, lions out. Everything is out, and it's jumping the fence. Hi, Terry. This is the sheriff's office. We were trying to get a hold of you. Give us a call. I just sense, you know, something is looking at me here. And there was about 30 feet away from my horse and myself, a huge male African lion. The police dispatched all available patrols to deal with the breakout. One unit headed straight to Terry Thompson's compound. They were met with a gruesome sight. Terry had shot himself in the head, his body a parting gift to his beloved animals. But the police weren't just dealing with Terry's death. All the animal cages had been opened or ripped apart. Forty-nine of Terry's deadly collection were now on the loose, including 18 tigers, 17 African lions, bears, cougars, and wolves. Knowing that the property was surrounded with this little livestock fence and that was the only thing there, you know, I knew we had a serious problem at that point. The released animals could be in Zanesville's town center within 10 minutes. Area residents have been warned to stay indoors and at least A soccer game was being played less than a mile away. The police had to make a decision, and fast. OK, put the word out. If it's close to the fence and it looks like it's coming over, I don't want it out. The last thing we wanted was for those animals to get over the fence and be traveling in our community roaming free. Well, right now, we're shooting to kill. With darkness falling, police began to dispatch Thompson's animals. Images of the slaughter hit the news wire and sent shockwaves around the world. We weren't just dealing with one or two that had gotten loose. This was a mass release. It was just something that you never could plan for or never train for. I'd have to describe that night as something that I hope me or anybody else never has to encounter again. It was a, a sad event, to say the least. 